Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mark of Chaos with me, Bring It On. Uh, we're gonna head towards the Battle of Briar Tangle, but I'm gonna shop first and get my uh, tank some more healing items. It restores full HP the hero. Oh, I should have got that. I didn't have enough. I only had like 3,000. 3,300 gold or something. Means to non melee attacks. 25. Okay. This is like the um, Amulet of Amulet of Shalia with the HP charge. We'll buy that as well. And to the barracks. Not the barracks, sorry, the armory. Uh, sure, we'll get the Gisels upgraded a bit. Why everybody else should be set. Alright, to the Battle of Briar Tangle. See what lies in wait. Having left Hightower, much of the Empire's soldiers have come to Briar Tangle, and Casket believes that the Elf Mage will be among them. Also, someone in the comment section had let me know that Casket has both a ranged and a melee attack, but it depends on what unit he's attached to. I think by default he has a melee attack. So if you look here, uh, this is a range of one which indicates he's in melee, but supposedly if I were to attach him to like a uh, Poison Wind Globideers unit, he would have, pull out his pistol. I was assuming that the his skill tree, because he has a upgrade to his range attack somewhere, well, I was assuming it was only for uh, duels, because he has that one ability for duels that he can pull out his gun and shoot. Ignoring armor at that. Alright, so bring some gutter runners, poison ring globe of deers. Uh, yeah, and then we'll bring the maxed out ones and then the uh, Gisales and one of these bad boys. Yeah, because those warp lightning cannons are bananas. A Skaven are cowardly warriors, except for except when in great numbers are cornered. When they have the upper hand, they grow in confidence and become even more dangerous. They also the Skaven do have a pretty interesting cultural dynamic. While they're not one of my favorite races in fantasy, they are one of the more for fun ones to read about. Oftentimes. The horned rat shall rule over everything. There is a position that is not best. All leaders, we need need elf mage. Find it quick, quick. We've got like a side area over here. We'll go check that out. Look for loot. Move as one big unit and uh, hope we can find some treasure. That's the one downside of this army is I don't have a good scout because Casket is pretty squishy himself. Honestly, have been seen, seen. Witness true power of my magic. suckers. Witness true power of my magic. We'll have to do with those guys Death in a second. Has found you. All right, we'll probably take out this unit before they even get to us. That's my hope. Oh wow, whoopsies. Let's get those guys back. I goofed up there. Actually, I can probably heal up some of these guys, hold on. Where is it at? The quick death comes. Clan Skariah answers your call. There we go. A cunning plan. I mean, patch him up with that thing. <laughs> and ruthless plan. Rivals have been seen, seen. I will win, win. 
I'm sorry, y'all attack that. What Just you go over here. My most generous employer. No foes can stop Clan Skaraya. Run for your lives! Clan Skaraya offers its services. Minions have won one! Clan Skaraya offers its services. Most happy to serve. Oh, that's not good. Energy levels critical, most splendid commander. I win glorious victory today. For your lives. Minions have won the one. Under Empire is mine to command. Flagellants. Energy levels critical, most splendid commander. The warlock engineers offer their power. I serve the horned rat. Let me slow them down once they get closer. Remember, they have a finite amount of uh, units. There's no way to spawn units onto the field, so. Foolish enemy will be killed easily. Charge! The more we can take out by them running at us, the uh, the better off we'll be later on. The Lords of Decay have sent me. Minions have won one. Man is most ingenious. Yeah, I realized my mistake too late when I activated this earlier and took out my entire gutter runner unit. No foes can stop Clan Skaraya. I thought he was a little further up than he was. But it's fine. Which enemy do you wish destroyed? So that might be a little annoying. We'll see if we can Clan take that out Skaraya from a distance. Your call. Wonder if I can hit that with this without it hitting us back. The Lords of Decay have sent me. Kinda seems that way. My magnificent triumph is beyond doubt. The Lords then again, of maybe Decay not. have sent bound you. Need more warp stone. I will win win. No oh, miss. It was not a miss. I serve the horned rat. Definitely not a miss. Rivals have been seen. seen. My power is unstoppable. That was a nice miss. Doesn't have any morale. I win. I saw an enemy unit up here. Yeah, we'll take that out. One, one. Who shall we shoot, great one? There we go. Charges at maximum. Foolish enemy will be killed easily. I shall not have weak bones. Death, death has found you. Minions have won Which one. Enemy, do you wish destroyed? As the great leader commands, position is not best one. How do I get this? Uh, Acquiring new warp lightning cannon up here. He can rain down fire and fury. I wonder what's over there. Doesn't look like a camp. Rivals have been seen. Seen. The warlock engineers offer their power. Warp lightning charging, great master. Your enemy shall die, die, great leader. Prepare to die, die. Clan Skaria and Minions have won one. As the great warlord wishes it. All right, I do want to send fulfill the great plan. him this well. I What's my goal here? Stone. Search for the high elf high mage, which might not be down here. Titan warp coils. Wait for this guy to get in position wish, anyway. So he can start shooting at this guy, force them to us. We can take them out as they approach us. Yeah. We'll, we'll play the uh, the baiting game. Though I guess the high elf mage could be up here. I don't see any indicators. I also don't want to miss the loot, so. What do you wish, my most generous employer? Yeah, keep that in mind going forward as well. Those are handgunners. Those guys will be a 
bit of a problem. They're only level one though, so not that big of a deal. Destroy them now! By the gods! Walking rats! They're attacking! Yes, they are. It's a nasty hit. Now they keep. Obliterating targets now. I keep going underneath the hill, so I have to keep moving forward to hit them. Clan Skariah answers your call. I took out 11 units. This is beyond us. Minions offers its services. So this might just straight out annihilate the unit, right? Uh, they're down to three. Not gonna keep coming at me, are they? The Majizale should outrange them, right? Ready, master. One volley from them should take out the unit. Or another shot from these guys. Minions have one one. Safe back here. Warp lightning charging, great master. Yeah, I probably don't have to bring in. Let's get on this side because there could be units that come from over here that could hit my uh, cannon. I don't want that. All right, there's the high mage. All right, we're not going to go there yet. We're going to circle back around and go over here. Find better position. The Council of Thirteen are my masters. Because I don't want to miss loot. I like loot. And experience. So. What do you wish, my most generous employer? We'll circle back around this way and see what's up on this hill. I'd scout with just a casket, but he's so squishy. Unlike Stefan and basically every other hero we've played with. Uh, I don't want to risk him dying. Because if he dies, we lose. Lanskaraya is everywhere. No foes can stop Lanskaraya. Well, we can run with the rest of the units. We don't have to sit here and follow this guy around. He's unstoppable. Actually, I'm probably fine with keeping him up here. The Council of Thirteen are my masters. See the magnificence. Let's well, moving him to the corner here. So he can probably shoot most of the way across the map. Is not best one. I'd say you probably hit about right here. From here. The Under Empire is mine to command. Energy levels critical. Most splendid command. Let's shoot us intense. I will win win. I win glorious victory today. And warp coils. I serve the horned rat. Rivals have been seen. Seen. I see some great swords. Ugh. I am herald of the horned rat. A barricade. Is that the only unit up here? <laughs> Foolish action get captured. Free them! They work for Skaraya! Yes, yes! Clan Skaraya offers its Prepare services. To die, die. Death, death has found you. Thanks, Skaraya, for rescue. We repay death with much killing, yes? My blades do Sweet. highest bidder. Oh, so we have an assassin. I am master from Clan... What does he have? Shadow Foot increases hero's attack speed by 30% at the cost of 50% armor and 50 magic resist. And Gnawing Death increases the chance to hit by 10% uh, for the hero in the attached regiment. These attacks also ignore 50% of the target's armor. What else did I get? Uh, another unit of gutter runners. Alright, I'll take it. Hey, a free hero. I'm, I'm all about it. Stuck my brain.
I guess I might as well just put him in the gutter runner unit, right? I am master's instrument of death. I can't go into a gutter runner unit. It's probably limited to oh, you can go with the Globideers. Hidden from prying eyes, I will be. I am master from clanishing. Allows them to ignore fifty percent armor. Kill all enemies. Oh, Blade of Nurglitch, plus 5% chance to hit. Poison, once activated, enemy units in melee with the hero become poisoned automatically. Okay. I am deadly shadow. Another hero is always welcome. Especially for free. So I'm glad I went back over there. That's uh that's very worthwhile. Warp lightning charging, Chris. Rivals have been seen seen. Brings me more warpstone. Energy levels critical, most splendid commander. I guess I could have come down the side here, but it only matters. What do you wish, my most generous employer? Together we will be unstoppable. My warpstone brings much power. Well, two hit points, that's not bad. Slow him down. Die, foolish play thing. My blade is guided by fate. Death, death has found you. The elf mage go again, mighty leader. Shut up, the foolish great poor leader. He weak. His magic not get him far. Eshin will find him quick, quick. The loud one, Thorgar, he catch him now. A ruthless plan. All right, not bad. That's pretty fun. I really, really like the uh, Skaven's artillery or siege weaponry, whatever it's labeled as. Chapter two: Wrath of the Ratkin. It's a, it feels like a very long chapter. I don't remember any of these, the Empire chapters, feeling this long. I think there were two times where I only got one mission done per episode. Uh, mostly because of a lot of reading. Alright, although the elf mage eluded Casket for a short while, the agents of the Skaven soon located the mage in the town of Brandenburg. Word has been sent to Thorgar of this news. And 6,000 gold, which goes straight to uh, Thorgar's army. Yeah, we may as well go ahead and fix that guy up. There we go. And I guess... Oh, we do have that champion of corn still. Uh, let's go ahead and get some uh, healing for Thurgar. Do I need all that healing? Probably not, but... Uh... Oh well. Alright, uh, Brigand's Glade. Oh, I haven't been to the new place yet. I shouldn't have spent all that money yet. <laughs> Whoopsies. Located away from the main patrols of the soldiers of the Empire, this hidden settlement is populated by all manner of marauders, brigands, mutants, and greenskins. It has no ruler as such, and any man that wishes to spend any time at Brigand's Glade would do well to watch his back and his gold. The Pyrefield. Burning with strangely colored flames, a great fire burns at the middle of Brigand's Glade. Tended to by three blind shamans. The faithful seek a boon from the gods. The faithful seeking a boon from the gods can throw their offerings into the magical inferno. Sword and things. Some of an entrepreneur among goblin kind, Nagret has made a name for himself as a fixer and fence of some ability. With a veritable army of willing goblin helpers, he scavenges nearby battlefields for anything of value and has a good eye for making at least temporary repairs. For the right price, he might even show a discerning consumer the special items he keeps on the out, sorry, out the back. Yeah, we'll get him a horse so he can lead from the front. I'll we'll even get him a horse. Perfect. All right, Tree of Swords. Just look at what they have available. All right. Uh, not so much a barracks as a notice board. 
Any warriors looking for employment nail a declaration to the Tree of Swords. Would-be army leaders can look over these notices to see if anyone if anyone suitable was in the vicinity. There we go. And Brizanath. Once just a petty dabbler in scrying and astrology, uh, Brizanath was driven into hiding by the witch hunters of Magnus the Pious. Estranged from his people, he swore his soul to the gods of chaos, and his powers increased immensely. From his hovel in Brigand's Glade, he sells his knowledge to those that seek to destroy Magnus's, Magnus's realm. Death Sword's Ring. Hero and his units are unbreakable. I don't really have a problem with morale. It usually keeps the unit alive anyway. So I'll keep it as is for now. Not enough gold, but I can sell units, because I don't really care for the Chaos Furies, I don't think. But I think I'm also good as far as my army is concerned for right now. To the crossroad. The road ahead leads on to the town of Brendenburg, where Casket scouts have located the Elf Mage. However, the remnants of the army Casket defeated are heading south not far from here. Ooh, it's a duel. Yeah, let's go take this on. Light, Warriors of the Gods. As the Bedraggled Empire army flees from the Chaos and Skaven hordes, a lone figure breaks away and stands before the advancing army of Thorgar. He's a war priest of Sigmar, and his challenge is clear. All right, let's uh, let's tussle. The chosen of Corn against the uh, the faithful of Sigmar. Though considered weak compared to the Chaos Gods, Sigmar can still bless his followers with unnatural strength and vitality when called upon. Sorry, I just hit myself in the head with my hand. The prey, the foul spawn of darkness. My righteousness shall hurl you back to the hell that birthed you. Strike you down. Glorious battle is joy. I really, really, really like the design of the Chaos Horse here. I also like how much damage I'm doing to this guy. It really has no chance. That was extremely one-sided. Sword of Might. His might is right. Twenty five hundred gold. Yeah, we'll go and buy another unit of these guys, just so we don't run out. There we go. Got some more axe throwers in case we uh, run out of those guys as well. What was I doing? Oh yeah, we got a new weapon. Sort of might twenty percent chance to hit, twenty percent HP plus one magic resist. An increased chance to hit, more HP and magic resist. Might be better, since I'm going to use him to tank. Oh, Death's Head, single use. Uh, one use only, area attack, equal chance of the enemy. Okay. Yeah, I might give him this. I know the plus one damage is really good, because it literally doubles your damage. But the increased HP, I think, is uh, just far superior. 
I could be wrong, but it feels right. Because he was already like 40 something, so that's, uh. Oh, it's 20%. Yeah, so I got at least 8 HP out of that. A little more because it broke 50. Or, how much HP does he have? Maybe it would be better. If I spread out the tanky stats? I'm probably thinking too much into it. It's not that. It's not that hard of a game. So it's not like. Yeah, his went up by six. Yeah, I think we'll keep it like that. Plus, it's more thematic for him to have Fobane in his uh, inventory anyway. Alright, so Master of Slaughter increases movement speed by 10% and attack speed by 15. And lasts for 30 seconds. He'll be activated if he has 30% or less health, but. That's fine, it gives him something to use. Then he has four points to spend. There you go. And you still don't have any more points to spend. All right. I think I'm going to call it here. In the next episode, we'll wrap up this chapter uh, in To Catch an Elf. And then uh, continue with Thorgar's quest for uh, chaos. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.